WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of rainy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently, we've got all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow's up 140. That's about four tenths of a percent. S&P, three tenths, 13 points. The NASDAQ, uh, 13 points as well. That's basically flat for it. Russell's up 25. Semi's 35. Trading's up 57. Gold is on the move. It's up 22 bucks. Trading now to 18.15. And silver's up 25 cents. She's trading at 24.16. Let's go spend a little time as we do during this segment with our indice charts out here. So give me a moment. We'll go over to those. And in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see the Dow. The Dow is going to form bar number seven of a TD9 count. There is certainly an A to B equals CD pattern. And there is the possibility you could get a bearish shooting star candle that would form today. If we did get some type of bearish reversal candle, that would confirm a sell the D point, and that would suggest move price moving back to 35, 956 or so. That's its green oscillator and change line. Bar number eight of a TD9 count is going to form inside the S&P and NDX 100 today. Bar number eights can be the top of a TD9 count. You still have to form bar number nine. Uh, but as long as price uh, in, in closes above where I've got labeled as bar number five, and that seems like a likely outcome, we should get to TD9 count tops by Tuesday, well, by Monday or Tuesday, inside of the S&P 500 and NDX. Both of those would also then suggest a move back to the oscillator and change line. 4626 for the S&P, 15938 for the NDX. And folks, don't use those numbers as exact because as price moves up and down, those lines move up and down a bit as well. But that is your guideline. The Russell 2000, no topping signal in place as we speak. Strong like bull, the semi is the same. Uh, today, only bar number seven of a TD9 count. Uh, so that suggests that it may not top until, even if it does, between Monday and Wednesday of next week. The trannies, I don't have any kind of a signal out here to speak of. The signal to be watching for in the spot volatilities would be its 50-day exponential moving average. Right now, you're priced at 16.55. Not today. If we saw a close today above 1773, we'd have a one-day rate of change greater than 10%, and that would suggest a bounce come Sunday or Monday. But if we do see a close above that level, which is 1773, in the coming sessions, then that's going to tell us about a market that certainly wants to move lower. And the XAU, it looks beautiful if you're long the miners out here because it is above a green oscillator and change line, something it hasn't done for the last uh, week out here. But a close above 131.87 says it's off to the moon for the mining equities. Folks, stay tuned. David White with the Power Trading Hour. He's up next. Tom O'Brien, Obi-Wan Kenobi. He'll take us on home. I'll be back with you on Monday. Have a fantastic weekend. Be safe out there, and we'll see you soon.